This month we're gonna be working on our stronger, faster, higher adventure. So I'm gonna go through all the homework that you have to get through. This is a really fun adventure. We're gonna get moving and we're gonna to, to learn more about making our body strong and, and preventing injury. So the first thing we need to do is we need to warm up. So we're just gonna march in place and wave our arms and move in different ways. Now, if you've been sitting, you probably wanna do a five minute warm up. If you've been moving, more like two minutes is enough. And this is gonna help us. A warm up gets oxygen to your muscles. It helps your muscles prepare to actually work out. We want lots of oxygen when we're starting out because that means that we're gonna just keep in aerobic workout much longer, aerobic meaning with oxygen. As soon as we get into anaerobic workout where our muscles don't have oxygen, that's when we end up having uh, lactic acid buildup. And that's what makes our muscles sore the next day. So we're gonna march in place. We might do some, some jumping jacks without the bounce. Just take out the bounce. And we're gonna warm up all our muscles in a different way. We might do some cross, some side steps, crossing your arms. We just wanna work the muscles in every way. Now we can do some stretches, but we don't wanna hold a stretch for more than like five seconds. And that's because that lengthens your muscles and we don't wanna lengthen them before we work out. That would cause injury. So instead, we just wanna work them in all the different motions that they can make and get oxygen to all the parts of that muscle. Now, the next step of this adventure is to start with our fitness tracker over here. So this is a tracker and we're gonna start with week one and we wanna get a baseline for all these different exercises. And I'm gonna go through each of them individually and talk to you about them. The first base fitness test that we're gonna do is the 20 yard dash. That's about 60 feet. Now, it doesn't matter. You may not have a tape measure, you may not have a tape measure that's that long. It doesn't matter as long as we keep the distance that we do each week the same distance. So I'm actually gonna just do from this fence to that fence. Now I wanna make sure that there's nothing in the way, there's no tripping hazard, and I'm gonna run 20 yards over there. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. The next thing we need to test is how high we can jump. So I'm gonna do this using a piece of painter's tape and a tall wall. So you'll need a tall structure, painter's tape, post-it note. Um, if it's okay with your Akela, you can even make a mark with chalk. We want something that's gonna to be there for a while. So here we go. So I jumped about that high, if you can see that. I'm gonna leave that tape up there. If I was afraid it was gonna fall off, that's a good sheltered place. I could also measure it. Now again, if you don't have a tape measure, get creative. I could go get something like a broom and measure and say, hey, that's about two brooms high and that would be close enough. We just wanna mark improvement over the weeks as long as we keep it constant. So always measuring with a broom or always making a mark like that, that's gonna give us our answer. Next, we're gonna do lifting a five pound weight. I have a five pound weight, but you may not have that, so get creative. Do you have a can of soup, maybe? Do you have a water bottle you could use? A gallon jug of milk? Get creative, you could fill your backpack with books. Whatever you wanna do, but we're just gonna take that five pound weight, and we're gonna see how many times we can lift that five pound weight. We want our elbow away from our body. You're not using your body to support it and we wanna flex. Now, the other thing is, if you don't have any of those, you could also use your racquetball that you got this month. Now, here's the thing, your muscles are all in opposing groups, so when I'm working this one, I'm then using this one to pull my arm open again. So if I keep this one tensed, I'm resisting against this one working. So I can use resistance instead of weights. Now I wanna make sure, after I test this one, how many times can I do that? Maybe able to do a lot, who knows? Then I wanna do the exact same thing to the other side because I wanna make sure I'm balanced. I wanna test that I'm balanced on both sides. It's no good, this is my weak arm, my left arm. 
So I want to make sure that I'm strengthening this as much as I'm strengthening my right arm. Now we're going to do some push-ups. So this is either how many push-ups you can do in a minute, or if you can't do very many push-ups, it just may be overall how many push-ups you can do. Now if you can't do a full push-up, don't worry about it. Again, we're trying to show improvement. So I can do, instead of doing a full push-up, this is a full push-up, I'm in a full plank, my body's straight, I'm doing a full push-up. Instead, I can do it for my knees, okay? And do it that way. Now, if I can't do either of those, the other thing I can do is what's called a wall push-up. And I can put my hands against the wall, and put my feet up, and do a push-up against the wall. Okay? Again, we're trying to show improvement over the four weeks, so do it whichever way is easiest for you. Now we're going to do some sit-ups. So you can either do how many you're going to do in a minute, or you can do how many you can do overall. If you can't do very many and you can't go for a minute, you might just want to do how many you can do and see if you improve. Now you'll want somebody to hold your feet or something to put your feet under. I don't have somebody, so I'm going to try to put my feet under the fence here. And I have a pad underneath me. You'll definitely want some kind of padding. You don't want to do this on hard ground. You'll hurt your back. Okay, and you can either have your hands up here, hands over here, whichever's comfortable. Okay, now, lastly, we're gonna jump some rope. Now, this could be how many you could do, or if you can stand to do it for a minute or two minutes, or however many jumps, how many jumps you could do in a row without messing up if you actually have a jump rope. I currently have, cannot find my jump rope, so I'm going to show you how to do it without a jump rope, and that is, I'm just going to pretend to jump rope. Now, after maybe a minute, I'm going to record instead something like, hey, this is how many times I jumped, or this is how I feel after I jumped it. Do I feel winded? Do I feel out of breath? That's okay, again, we want to show improvement. So maybe in four weeks my answer is, I can jump rope easily for a minute with no problems. Okay, so we finished our fitness test for the first week. Now we need to talk about how you're going to improve over this four week time, okay? So we want to do, at the very least, fitness tests on the first week and on the fourth week. And if you want to do it on the second, third, that's great. You can do that too. Um, not going to check that. That's for your own personal information. On the other side, we have a calendar. So you need to do a workout for one month. And we're saying like five days a week. And even that's really easy. So you need to do three things each day, but have some variety. If you do arms one day, arms intensive, don't do arms the next day. Do legs or do abs. Okay. Do your core. Um, if you do like cardio one day where you're doing hit high intensity interval training, that's where you're doing really tense and pumping your legs for 20 seconds and then you're taking a 10 second break. Then the next day do something different. Do some weight training maybe where you take soup cans and you're, you're moving them different ways or you're doing resistance training. Um, make sure at least one of those days of the five days that you're doing some stretching, you're doing yoga or something like that because that's also going to help you to grow stronger is that recovery and helping your muscles to recover after the hard workouts. Now again, five days of physical activity, three things per day at least, but you can do a fuller workout, okay? And variety. Don't do push-ups every day. Variety. Now when we're done with our workouts, we did our warm-up, we did our workout, it's really important we do our cool down. So again, we're just gonna kind of walk in place, wave our arms and figure out where do we feel tight? What muscles do we feel tight in? Okay, this is really important. So after you work out, your muscles kind of bunch up and it's really hard for the blood and oxygen to get where it's all bunched up. So we wanna stretch them back into their original position so they're really comfortable and the blood can get there and help out finishing up your workout. This is going to prevent injury and it's going to prevent soreness the next day. Now when we do stretch and do different stretches, tricep overhead stretch, you can look up a ton of different stretches. We want to make sure that we're, we're holding these stretches for 30 seconds at least. That's how long it takes for this to stretch 
out. And again, this is gonna help you prevent soreness the next day. We also wanna make sure when we're all done, we wanna drink a lot of water and rehydrate because again, that's gonna help clean that lactic acid out of your muscles so that the next day you're not too sore and you're ready to go again. And lastly, you were given a racquetball. So hand-eye coordination is an important part of working out and improving yourself. This is your reaction time. This is uh, how the messages get from your brain to your muscles to work. This is really important. So you can play with it, toss it up and down. You can play catch with somebody else. You could bounce off something as long as you have permission and nobody's in a meeting or anything like that. I know with everybody working at home, we can't be making lots of noise, but this is really good for that to play with. The other thing this is really good for is massaging. Okay, if you have really tense muscles, this is a great tool for rolling over your muscles, especially if you've been at a computer all day, rolling it around. You can put it on the ground and roll on it using the ground as the other place if you can't reach that muscle. Or the wall is another good place if I wanted to, to massage my back from sitting in an office chair all day, okay? So this is a really useful tool and even just really useful for playing and loosening up your hands kind of when you're sitting in a meeting. It's a great tool. So that's the Stronger Higher Fitness. We're gonna keep checking in with you. You have to do this for one month and then test yourself again on all of those things. Uh, you know, celebrate how you feel. Don't worry about day to day. You may feel like tomorrow I may not be able to touch my toes, whereas today I could. Celebrate how you feel after you work out. Uh, that's the important part because it's gonna help relieve stress. It's gonna make you sleep better at night. It's gonna uh, make it easier to sit in the office chair again. So we want you to have fun with fitness and we'll keep checking in.